Hello and welcome to MLP VLAN for the third of a f the final of a free Aquatic uh, Girl special that they are doing. Uh, the, the final one, which is Mirror Magic, written by Rachel Vine and Dave Polky. Hmm, that's cool to have a mirror in which one I believe is new. Uh, the final of the free, and I. All I knew was a big, 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 big premise going in, and I've got to kind of quite look more to it. Go, but the big kid probably looking at that, you know, looking at that, um, Skunkhead Shimmer, she wanna go and in her journal, cause she go back to Equestria for a few minutes in order to get, you know, like a new one, but that when she walked into Starlight Glimmer, who, after talking, Starlight Glimmer wants to try out the human world of the first couple, go, go, go in there to, you know, do talk and have some fun, but that is when Drew Bramontage and the villains in the second one, which may give you... The second special, which you didn't, you have to all go right up the code. I just spoiled it for you. <laughs> I didn't play pretendably anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, when she appeared again, through some convolutedness, she get a whole magic mirror, which you can do trap remain kick, and now I'm gonna get some of that good but every day. Human stomach or any special one. Um, so, off of that, I did know that Drew Ramonda would be part of it. I didn't think we could have that continuity line. The second one that didn't connect continuity line kept for the first one I mentioned that was a few months after Friendship Game, which only a few months, which probably that probably wouldn't be after summer I get a free. But the second one mentioned the like, other free, which means that one would take place first, then then magic and friendship game, blah 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 blah. The Death Magic and the Victor oh, No 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 no. It is Death Magic, then that one. I don't know, the thing opened up with your montage and finding out about the big reveal from Death Magic, which means you're only hearing about it. I kind of really agree, but, but basically, this one got a lack of continuity because it, which means they were probably meant to be like a trilogy like on their own, because, duh, I feel like you could have watched over like a recorder, it doesn't really matter that much, but, yeah. And then, yeah, kind of cool to have her in the movie, and, uh, I got to bat my favorite part involved her. I mean, she's not the most original villain we had, but to have basically a bitch who got lucky, you know, it was actually pretty entertaining. She basically just want, you know, basically had pretty important whole motivation of contouring it that she was not given a role daring to go, she kind of, I'm gonna be do an evil Scooby Doo thing. <laughs> and, well, Scared me, I still bother she to do it online. Cause they have a dog, it just has spikes, so it's like, come on. But, oh well. But here she gets a pretty delicious with how evil you know, she becomes. And uh, of course she has to turn into a big evil thing at one point. But it's really cool that she has a mirror, which, never point how it works. Some magic hit it or something, I don't know how. And it becomes magic because you can, she can wish for things with it. And now you get to go up to the main kick into a mirror void. And that's a cool part of the game because the mirror void go. It's kind of cool what they could do with it. And that's a good joke. Like, we're trying to figure out any wall there. Go, of course, Pinkie Pie tried to break the fourth wall with and go, nope, no wall go to here. That was amazing. That was my favorite line. Like, I'm actually my favorite line in all more detail in a bit. But Pinkie Pie, like, wow, we are a really forgiving group. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but all the Viper are actually pretty entertaining. Like she, yeah, she's not the most interesting villain, but I think she's pretty enjoyable for a lot of it. Yeah, she is fun. Um, I pretty really tough, but alright. You know, I, on one hand, the could have been a movie on its own, everything go on here, but at the same time, the go involve a lot of padding, and I believe I'm be we are kind of better off having it be a special. Like, go to every I feel like. Because of the community scanning, I don't know where it could have been 20 minutes around. I think it could have been. The move got me to come up wrong with the elite. But, yeah, far as this one goes, um... The stuff with Skunkat and Starlight is pretty shallow. You know, it's there, but Starlight's kind of there to be there. Like, we are going to see if we talk to Skunkat and she give her advice, but it's not like... And put an impact on Skunkat. You know, it's not like she or Skunk talk about what well, I would say, or actually even came for the AC. Honestly, with Skunk, we stuck with Skunk and Starlight, and stuff with Jupiter, are kind of scattered. 
the only way they really interact until the even main kick or even really popped off when Darnley did a good CG beat. You know, you know, they're pushing tough, but you know, with them, I like them tough with them, but it's not like we're getting in, I don't know, I just felt like it, you know, felt like it playing here more, you know. And I feel like Young Cat going back to the point world for the first time in forever should have been like a part of a movie, part of a movie on its own, but then it kind of flipped over this. You know? Right, kind of disappointing. But if you reject the little thing, then it's fine. And, and the folk who don't like Brian Gomer might don't look like this one because it shows that she can be kind of useful sometimes. Because she, she's here, but it's like, I'll cry about she can be, and she helps on some guys, but it's not like I'm ready to get much of an impact. And I think Tor Twilight could equally give her that thing in that cheek speech. I guess because Tor Twilight already had her own cheek speech in the first game, because maybe it was free. I don't know. That, um, I barely thought about that one because I watched it for that vlog. Go for the first one game, I at least look into that commentary, which we will have thought about it again. Which, yeah, I don't want it ever free yet. I gotta get on that. I haven't seen it until yet, but I won't get to pull that. Won't go much against it. On DVD, so I think special gonna be on DVD all at once, so I'll probably get that. Um, mm -hmm, so, uh, you know, but yeah, but yeah, with Starlight and the Kung Topic, all right, but not special, but nothing bad, just kind of standard. Yeah, I've first up the villain more. And speaking of a villain, um, I'll go ahead and spoil it because it's not like that crazy interesting. She turned good, through you, through Cheeky Peach. Yeah, that was disappointing, gonna get like, we pinned through it time and again. The one being turned good by Cheeky Peter again. The film will get, at least had a decent motivation for being so in for bike, and at least we all kind of want this before. But, and, and it's not the villain we expected to key off in anyway. But disappointing, another villain already is turning good. It's pretty cool, uh, Cheeky Peach, which I, I thought was kind of lame. Look like that Peach was like, Typical, you know, like, of course, we don't need to be bad, but it's very much what happened with Sunket in the first movie. And I guess the reason they didn't use Sunket because we have be two other to parallel, and they already did a feature for a friendship game. I think I can't afford go have me Starlight. Doesn't really change much, it's just a character doing it. But I'm gonna be good because they're biking. Take care of this thing. Uh, I got had to close my door. Um, Get close, 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 but, but yeah, and apparently, I had not read much reaction, but one person I followed did came with the Vikings or something. I imagine like, only the Vikings folks who really hate Cuckett, start like Glimmer, I'm sorry. But, for people who are fair, I feel like it may be like because of that, Star Glimmer is going to make a impact, and the ending is kind of, but, on me, I still like this one, it's my favorite of three, because it has me both going on. I feel like the one with performance matters will probably be that kind of one, but the one is more entertaining. But yeah, because I have a problem, but most of the time, stuff with the villain is very enjoyable, and you know, there's some neat, nice moments for Dark Lord and some cat. Um, no Kong in the one ever kept a reference to the Kong for Death Matter, go. Well, you want Kong on the free, and it's an okay Kong, but it's not one of, not even one of the better ones to Kong, honestly. <laughs> And much for a combined like, character like, on the crown, Mix the Magic, or we will stand for every or whatever. Or even the intro song for them. The movie. So the overall me magic is good, but yeah, it has flaws, you know. I do think it looks pretty entertaining, but objectively I think it could look you can because I have these narrative things. But I do think ultimately it'll work. So for the free special, overall it's like a fun little practice. I am a vlog with them, but I don't think they're that big of a deal. And on top of that, we're going to for the special, not much intrinsically wrong, it's just that they're doing that kind of thing before, or what not, I guess that thing could be, but if you aren't a pick that kind of thing, you will greatly get into them. And the fifth one, it really depends on how much you're willing to forgive the villain turning good or Starlight not having that much of an impact. Bigger thing you could forgive or who not get for. I kind of know for that. Um, but for me, in spite of, you know, little thing, I did definitely enjoy this one, probably the most of the three. But would I like to see the question of what team's going to beat all only of me? Yeah, I mean, we've had four movies which we which have been pretty enjoyable. We have the special, which are mostly enjoyable. 
Yeah, I've got day one. I'm kind of wanting a TV show to go. And honestly, if quality is closer to probably Call of Magic, I feel like we got something here. I don't think that many of them are going to be like this. You know, they can be most of the are going connected to Fetch Magic with Starlight coming in. And I doubt we're going to do more stuff like that. But, we'll see. Yeah, I, I do hope. And I believe the only reason we did this project because they knew they couldn't do another movie because there'll be actual movie coming out of here. So, I think it is probably better to um, do the special. So, uh, we might get another movie next year in lieu of more special, but I would like to stop doing the movie. I feel like this was a lot weaker if it was a movie, but we also might get more time. I don't know. Honestly, it depends on how Legend of Everfield turned out as a special. I feel like that went better off the special, because the rehashing would be a big of an issue of working that one, but... I don't know. But I feel like we should move forward with special rather than more movie. That that just me. No, that is mere magic. Good and good. Got all the kind of... None of the are that good. They're all good, but not that good. Yeah, they're flawed, but they're really entertaining. You know, and... You know, it's gonna ring that you are one of special that I feel they're allowed to be flawed. But anyway... Bad to get from MLP until he can come back, and of course, it's been a oh boy. I'm, by the way, they leaked a like a trailer for the movie. I haven't seen that trailer because I cause I heard it was gonna be in front of the Fickle Me Free, which I was going to see, but it well, wasn't. I just got the front trailer again, so I haven't seen a new trailer yet. I probably should get some fun and just look it up, but uh, probably come to me at some point. So I both feel like I got that trailer. My parents are going to make up and give me a cameo yeah, at some point. So, very tough because well, that's not going to But just a reminder on that movie, I'm doing a vlog for that when it comes out. And go so, to keep convinced and everything else. You know, moving over, I'll be coming back. I know if I had that leaked episode and a couple of them, but I'm like, again, all right, I'll watch the leak. You know, <laughs> and on top of that, it's like, weird, you know. Um, but yeah, no idea what MLP we'll thing is that. But for a vlog in general, tomorrow we start the Penn Hero vlog and go through all that. And on July 22nd, I'm going to be making Milo. Well, a lot of y'all to enjoy before MLP comes back. So, I shall see you then.